It's simple for the mind to become aware of the physical body. It's also simple for the mind to become aware of emotions. The challenge is the mind becoming aware of the mind, to not get caught in its own web. To transcend the mind, one must be able to recognize its patterns as they occur. As beings, we are just a small part of this universe, but by being a part of it means the universe is also a part of us. As within, so without. The universe both surrounds us and is within us. It is our outer world as well as our inner world. We are one with everything. It's all connected. But in the process of experiencing human life, the ego has dominated and made us lose sight of this truth, which means we experience life with a blindfold on. This results in us spending our lives trying to find a way to complete ourselves. But we are already complete. We are a part of the whole and the whole is within us. There is nothing to search for. To understand how we try to complete ourselves, we'll solely look at the mind, which can be broken down into four intangible mental bodies. We'll call them A, B, C, and D. A focuses on completing itself by looking at the past and the future. It spends its present moment trying to correct the actions of the past or by doing things to secure its future. But that is a never-ending cycle as the past doesn't exist and the future never comes. B believes that it needs other beings to complete itself, meaning it spends its time trying to create the perfect little circles. It involves relationships, social circles, family, friends, communities, races, and so on. It has its own preconceived notions of what complete would look like and according to that, it adds or removes beings from or to its circles. If B has authority, it starts constructing rules and tries to change the behavior of others to fit its ideal version of the whole. And if it doesn't, then it just creates opinions and judgments of people instead. C loves order, consistency, uniformity, and so on. It believes that by following certain routines, rituals, or traditions, that it will feel complete. It tries to find comfort by creating an image of itself and sticking to it, which means it has an outer and an inner image to maintain. The outer image is what others perceive, and the inner image is what only it sees. This is unfortunate as everything around us is always changing, which goes against the order that C strives for so it will never really feel complete. The desires of the last mental body, D, are the opposite of C's. It believes that chaos, uncertainty, disorder, and the unknowing hold the keys to completion. Following D is basically like taking risks into the unknown, which can be incredibly groundbreaking or very dangerous. Whichever body is speaking the loudest at the moment will determine your actions. And the goal is to not stop listening to them, but to be able to view them for what they really are, and to be able to prevent yourself from getting trapped and stuck in their webs, which is basically your mind becoming aware of your mind. And that awareness is nothing but who you really are. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload next. I would love to hear your views of the mind, so comment down below. Thank you for watching.